Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky for episode number 241 today here on this fine Wednesday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I've got a very fun episode for you today. There's lots going on. Lots of fun SBCs scattered around all through the video. So make sure you sit back, relax and enjoy. Do me a huge favour at the start. Smash a thumbs up. 4,000 likes, that's your target. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are new around here. So we're going to get straight in. Uh, and I mean, I think you guys probably knew this was coming just because I would sort of discussed that I didn't absolutely love Fekir or Kunde, so they're both going to get gone. Uh, I'm going to sell them both. And this was uh, this this so this was on Sunday night, uh, Sunday afternoon, evening, whenever I finished the weekend league evening, I guess. Uh, so I had to check their prices. Uh, unfortunately, Fekir, I mean, we lose a K before tax. Uh, and then it's a similar story, I think, with uh, with Kunde as well. Because we got them both at very good prices. But as the weekend league was finishing up, more and more people finished. Their prices came down. They've both absolutely plummeted now. So I was happy to get those prices for them uh, at the time. Putting us at nearly 500,000 coins and a Mukiele. To, uh, tradable. So uh, keeping Mukiele because uh, I kind of want to, I just want to use him. And I figured that later on in the week, like I would imagine it's probably the Bundesliga Tots next. If I, I can't really remember from previous years uh, as to what, yeah, is it Bundesliga Tots next? I don't know. You guys might know a little bit more by the time you're watching this. Um, but I figured that maybe Mukiele might even go up in price during Bunda's Tots, because he might get some good links to people, and he is absolutely cracked. He's great. He's really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, the team has got two empty spaces right now, uh, and we will fill them during the episode. Don't you worry. Uh, but what we're going to do for the start of the episode is, like, the little La Liga upgrades. Going to get a few of them done. Uh, I think I managed, to, once clearing out my club, I managed to get, like, six of them. So, not many. I've never got too much stuff in my club, have I? But there you go. Six of these... Uh, 80 plus La Liga player picks should be quite good. Uh, we start things off with a little Marcelo, uh, 83 overall. Hey, we'll take it. And then moving on to player pick number three, we get 85 rated Pareo. Okay, it's the second one I've opened, but we're going to go open one, skip one, open one, skip one. Uh, a couple of 83s in the next one, we'll take Acuna for now. Um, and then going back to the beginning, we open up another one, and that's. Not a great one, is it? You get two 80s and an 82. You're definitely not writing home about that one. Uh, we get an 81 and two 82s this time. And then in the final pack, we can get... Oh, dear. Yeah, unfortunately for me, those weren't the greatest. I mean, we got an 83 and an 85, so I guess they were kind of worth, but... In all honesty, and uh, no, I don't know uh, if that was a, a good idea, um, but they seem to be absolutely cracked for everybody else. So the next thing we're going to do is the 85 times 5 player pack. 85 plus times 5, should I say. Going to get rid of uh, the 289s that I worked for in squad battles the other day. Also like Ansu Fati, Leroy Fair. Don't worry about it. I never use them, guys. Haven't used them for ages. Uh, and I just, I wanted to get this SBC done because I like the thought of this type of content. I know it was quite an expensive one for what you get in return. But with La Liga, people seem to be packing La Liga tots left, right and center. So if we can get so I'm in the, the 585 plus. It's a good chance to get one, you know. Um, so, hey, why not give it a shot? So here we go. Five players, 85 rated and above. During La Liga Tots, we get a walkout, but we only get gold. So I think that guarantees us no Tots. And uh, we get ourselves an Allison, which is a 90 rated card. Um, we didn't submit any 90 rated cards. We submitted two 89s in Bamford and Trevrede. Tevrede? Don't know. Uh, but we get 90 and 89, 87, 86, 85. All from the Prem, by the way. Literally every single player there from the Premier League. Um, which I think, like, we didn't get a Tots, which was the main aim, which kind of sucks. But we did get some, some pretty decent fodder. I know we submitted some pretty decent fodder. We pretty much traded out, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. 
So the next thing I went and, uh, and did was uh, pick myself up a Romarinho because he's dropped in price a lot at the end of the weekend league. I picked him up for 165. I then saw him drop down to 150, go back up to 175. I have no idea what he's at right now. He might be like 100k by the time you're watching this. Who knows? It would be a classic lasty situation, right? Um, so this is a squad that I put together thinking, okay, maybe that's kind of what I wanted. It requires me to pick Tagliafico back up again, who's under 100k now. Brilliant stuff. Uh, gonna go ahead and pick him up for 96,500 coins, because I always thought it was quite solid. Um, obviously, obviously very, very fast. And then this formation, I think, is the way that we could get 100 chem. I think you could do it in other, in other formations as well uh, but this requires the uh, minimal amount of position modifiers for me i think i just had to bring romarino down and then also a cam to cm on sen which i already had one in the club somehow i don't even recall packing one but we had one uh, so that's great so there you can see we're on 97 chem once we get loyalty on mukiele uh tagliafico and romarino that would be plus three that would be 100 chemistry playing mukiele on seven Romarino on seven and then the two Serie A boys on eight. Um, so yeah, that, that's a way to get us onto 100 chemistry. We just need to get 10 games under the belt of those three team of the season players. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, uh, what did I get done here? Was this... Oh, uh, squad battles rewards. We got gold too because last week we obviously grinded out for those 289s, which we have already spent. Oh dear. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I still have TOTS players that I can put into... Do I have any TOTS players that I could put into a guaranteed TOTS SBC? Not yet. We're going to have to get lucky in either the rest of the episode or in my rewards uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But we pack a little silver Real Madrid player here. who turns out he sold for like 3k or 2.9 if you're being picky. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll definitely take that. Good good money there. Premium gold players pack. Can we get anything? If we don't get anything, we at least get fodder for more of those La Liga player picks, right? You know, that's that's kind of like the, you know, if, if you lose out by not getting anything in the pack like we did, hey, you got three more rares that you can put in and nine more non-rares that you can put into the, uh, the, <laughs> the player pick upgrade. So, you know, we'll definitely take it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and qualify for the next weekend league, of course, and that will give me my 2,000 point buffer when I get my rewards later in the week. And, oh, the Real Madrid guy sold. So, yeah, we're at 235,000 coins. Plus, we've got three tradable tots in our club. We've got Romarino, we've got Tagliafico, we've got Mukiele, as well as the crazy team that we've got uh, amongst them that are all untradable. So, a La Liga tots challenge completed here for a premium gold players pack. We just opened a premium gold players pack. Can we get better? No, no boards again. All right. Uh, I'm finding La Liga Tots difficult for some reason. It seems as though they're more difficult to pack. For me, personally, we were packing Prem Tots left, right, and center. But, um, yeah, everyone else seems to be getting the La Liga Tots, but not me. It's just not... For some reason, they're not popping up. Who knows? Maybe we'll get one towards the end of the episode. We, we hope so. Um, I mean, I know whether we do or don't. So, it's just you guys that are sitting there hoping and waiting, right? Uh, so, we do the other La Liga Tots challenge. Uh, again, no boards, no walkout. Uh, which sucks. We get a little Nick Pope, probably one of the best goalkeepers on the game, uh, but we'll throw him into an SBC, no doubt about it. So with all of that stuff, I was able to craft five more of these. I had to spend a few coins on a few rares, but I wanted to get at least five of these packs done for you. Uh, a little 83 Bachiche, uh, followed by an 85 Pareo, uh, and then a team of the season. Oh, wait, no, sorry. 83 Acuna again. Damn it. I... Uh, I Got your hopes up again, didn't I? Uh, and then an 83 again in Fernando this time. And can we end on a high? We can't get blue. Well, not the right blue. Uh, and we're not going to take uh, UCL and TT. We're going to take the 87 rated Sergio Busquets. Mini dub. Uh, an 85 and an 87. Uh, I think that's pretty good. It's not bad at least. Anyway, you know, we can, we can definitely uh, settle for that. It's going to help out in a little SBC that we're going to do in a uh, in a short while. So, I've got to line up this new squad of ours. Um, Romarinho, I just want to try him up front alongside Ronaldo. See if he's as good as uh, as when my opponent used him against me this weekend. Uh, Leon Bailey out wide. Neres out wide. Actually going to put Poyol in the right back spot. And then just bring on... Well, it turns out I ended up just playing Bender at right back. Uh, and in these games that I'm about to play now, 
I brought on Luke Shaw to play at centre-back. I wanted to try him out alongside Mukieli, uh, and that worked a treat. Uh, very, very good. Um, but yeah, here we go. First game of Rivals. I've only got four of these left, and we can push up towards Division 1, Rank 1. If we get some good results. I'm 1-0 up already. So things are looking up. Uh, we knock it through to Cristiano. Scores the goal. 2-0 up. 15 minutes. I think this one might be the one. We might manage to try and get full. Um, well, we're going to go for it. We're going to go and try and get uh, the, the full rank points for this one. Romarino with some nice skills. Good dribbling. Ball rolls it past the goalkeeper and slots it home. Uh, and we're 3-0 up at half time. And that's a 6 chem Romarino, I must add. He's uh, He's got to play another... Well, he's got to play this game and nine more after that in order to get himself up to, uh, to, to, to seven chemistry at least. And who knows, the team might change by the weekend. I brought Harry Kane on because I was having fun. And as, as much as Kane isn't that great for me, uh, he actually popped up with a couple of goals because I think this guy wasn't as, wasn't as good as some of the better opponents I played in the weekend league, let's put it that way. So I actually gifted him a few goals uh, because... Uh, there's no point just winning 5-0 uh, in Rivals. Like, I thought, hey, I'm, I'm just going to be a nice guy about it. Uh, and as you can see, I think by the end of it, we've given him, like, four goals here. Um, so we, I, I would have given him a fifth goal, but we literally, as soon as I kicked off, it blew the final whistle. Kind of sucks. But, yeah, so, I mean, his name was Dad of Five. So if he is a Dad of Five, hey, ooh, fair play to you. And you get a bit of chance to play FIFA, you're going to get some points from me. Um, but I'm still going to take the win and get maximum points for myself, please. Uh, so with that, we actually get 950 points, taking us over 12,000 points with three games remaining. This is looking quite good. Into the next game. Weird chemistry situation with this guy. He's obviously just playing a whole bunch of cool cards from his club, not caring about chem. And I'm all for that because one, it makes it a little bit easier for me. And two, maybe he's having fun doing it. So, uh, yeah, like more power to him. Now, I go 2-0 up because I am quality. No, I'm not. I've just got some quality players and a lot of luck. Romarino then knocks it through to Ronaldo. Into Bailey. What a strike on the left peg of the Jamaican. And the only thing that sucks about this game is that he quits at 3-0. Yeah, he doesn't let me get the five, which would have... It would have given me nearly 200 points more, I think. Um, I think I end up getting like... What's the max? 950 is the max. Uh, we were so mismatched, by the way. Nearly 300 in that. Feel a bit bad, but what can I do about it, you know? You'll see in a minute that we get matched in, in the other end as well. Um, so, yeah, we end up with 12,790 points with two games left. I could push on in to, to rank number one here and then try and hold it. Um, so, Vidal into Ronaldo, into Romarinho. Vidal back to Romarinho. It took me 23 minutes to score, and I was... I, I'd made a few chances early doors in this game. So what annoyed me the most was that he ended up getting back into it. I, f I felt like I should have been I should have been a couple goals up. And then what was even more annoying is that just before half time, he ends up actually making it 2-1. Um, so into the second half we go. Uh, I do skip past him with Ronaldo and I'm able to get the equaliser. The good stuff. Uh, but he is able to go back into the lead. So it's really me just trying to catch up in this game. Lovely strike from this Coutinho. He scored a couple of belters against me now. I actually really want him, uh, but he's a pretty expensive SBC to get, isn't he, really? So uh, don't know if he's going to be fully on my shopping list or not. We'll see what we get in rewards if he's still out by then. I think he will be. Uh, and, 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 yeah, it'll be dependent on who we've got in the team that we could actually maybe even link him to. So I get uh, a goal to actually go 4-3 up with just five minutes to go, and he runs straight down the other end and scores with Aguero, and then he runs straight through again and scores with, I think, Neres. Yeah, I mean, he's just riding the challenges. So I don't know what happened. I literally had to just hold the ball for five minutes, and I think he must have gone ultra attacking. I think his kitchen sink was thrown at me. Which is good, because you need to throw kitchen sinks at me. I, I'm running out of them. I throw them at my opponents all the time. Um, so I lost 6-4. Oh, no. I was 5-4 up. 4-3 uh, four, four, up. And then I, yeah, but he had 2,300 skill rating. So uh, I guess that was a little bit of a mismatch on, on the other, uh, other side of things uh, for us. And we lost. So whatever. I mean, we get plus 200 there, plus 300. We actually get like 500 points for that game. Um, so we're into rank one, and this is the final game of division rivals that I've got for this week. All right, and we come up against a full Atletico Madrid team. By far and away, the most aggressive player I have come up against in ages. I don't know what it was about his team, the way that they played, whether you get a boost if you're playing a, like a one club, a one squad team. I don't know. 
but it was so aggressive and I struggled all game to get my goals. And we ended up drawing one all and he scored quite late on. It was so annoying um, because I think, I, I thought at the time maybe that one would hinder me. And he was so much lower rated than me. He was nearly, again, it was a couple hundred lower than me uh, in terms of the skill rating. But with that, we got 390 points. So we're up to 13,690 and we're done. And as I, as I was recording this on uh, on Monday night, as I was playing these games Monday evening, it was at 13,010 points. So I had like 680 points before it levels out with me in a couple of days. And last week it finished on 13,400 and something. So I don't know if we're going to make it or not. You guys will have a much better idea by the time you're watching this Wednesday uh, as to whether or not I have managed to get Div 1 rank 1. I guess we'll see tomorrow with rewards. It will be what will, what will be will be Kesara Sara. Um, and here we go with an, uh, an 85 plus La Liga player pick. Team of the C. No. I get to Stegen, Ramos and Courtois. I mean, three very high rated players. And of course, I only get to take one of them. Uh, we'll take Testegan. It's a 90 rated great fodder. But that was like a really good opportunity once again to pack a La Liga tots. And we haven't managed to do it. So still, still no La Liga tots for me. Um, and we've grinded out quite a few upgrade packs and stuff. Uh, so maybe my luck is not in this week. Maybe it was just for the Prem. And now I get terrible, uh, terrible rewards for the next week. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do look forward to opening my red picks for you guys in tomorrow's video. And opening the packs associated with it and all of that good stuff. See what we can get cooking up in the club. Because we've got a couple of high rated gold players now. Aguero, Allison, Terstegen. We've got some got some players that we could put into an SBC if we wanted to. Uh, and I need to probably in the background just work on some squad battle stuff just to just to unlock some either icon swap stuff, which we might talk about a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, and then and obviously just like the TOTS rewards from squad battles. I need to get them done. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up button. 4,000 likes for today's episode. That would be great. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel if you're uh, if you're new around here. Thank you very much for that. You can find that link down below. As well as my Twitter and Instagram. Those links can be found down below as well. Uh, only thing left to say is that I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Let me know what rank you're in in Division Rivals. And what you got in your 85 plus player pick. I'm curious. Uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.